morning, Becky. We're having kefir with honey. First thing in the morning. And we're gonna have some soup. Yeah, we're having soup again. <laughs> It'll be really yummy for you. You can drink it with a straw. Wanna blow bubbles in it? No. My second one is up. He wanted his soup deconstructed, so what I do is I put the broth here and the veggies here. Here's his kefir and his brine. My daughter ate her kefir and some of her brine, but not her soup yet. And we have a straw for slurping soup. Now I'm working on soup for me and my husband. So we eat one whole jar for each meal. So here's his, I'm heating it up, and then I'll heat mine up. What is it? You squished an ant, oh dear. Was it an accident? No. No. It was, it was, it was a lion, and I squished it with spikes. Mm, yep, I need to pile up some more wood here today. We run our wood stove. Mommy, look. I didn't. Becky still has not drank all of her broth yet, but we are working on it. I'm gonna put some water in it for her. Here's some water in your broth. We also had a plate of chicken with some more ketchup. Bite. That will break. She didn't really eat all of that either. But that's okay. Are we making worms? I make spiral. Oh, we made some fish too in there. We're gonna bake them. We're doing school. All right, so I was craving something more regular and we're kind of following this cookbook, What Can I Eat Now, 30 Days on the Gaps. And on day two, she talks about making hamburgers. So everything has to be cooked in broth because we're on stage one. So I have broth and everything, but we're gonna make a, like a, I'm not sure what you call it, a sauce. So I'm gonna put butternut squash in here and puree it all up so it's all thick. And then I'm gonna probably add this broth and the broth from this to a cup and we'll just drink it. But then we can have a hamburgers and peas and this sauce. And it should be really delicious. I'm really excited about something normal today. Day two, and I already want different food. <sighs> Here's what we're having. Hamburgers and this soup for dipping and some peas. Okay, we'll ch we'll change your pants if you spilled it. Oh. Here's my dinner. So things have hit a rough spot on day two. Kids do not want any more soup. They do not want deconstructed soup. They cried and they will not eat any food. So I don't know what to do. I want them to listen to their bodies too. So they said they wanted some applesauce. And as long as it's something on the full gaps diet I think I'm gonna be okay with it for now so I gave them some applesauce and I said we'll try soup when daddy gets home from work and you can try some soup then we can deconstruct the soup or you can just have some broth but this is a journey and I'm gonna to have to take it day by day and it's not gonna be an instant flip switch changing our whole diets changing our whole way of eating and the way that we relate to food so I'm just taking it step by step Becky fell asleep, but here's our dinner. We're having oranges and sausage. And here's his broth. So I decided that the kids can have full gaps foods um, because I want this to be a pleasant experience. I don't want it to be a fight. So we're having orange. And I'm having another little snack of two of these sausages that were cooked in broth. I love oranges and sausages. Me too. So I am editing day two and I just wanted to explain um, when we started the GAPS diet, as an adult I'm able to say even though I crave this food, I'm going to eat the GAPS food. And but kids are a little different and I don't want my kids to have negative connotations with food or think food is bad and I also want them to learn to listen to their bodies so even though they have gut issues it's going to be slow going to get them on to stage one gaps. So what I'm thinking about doing is maybe going backwards, full gaps, back to stage one, and then forward again. 
with them. But my husband and I are going to stay on stage one and we'll do day three tomorrow. And then we're going to go to stage two. So I'm very excited about egg in my soup. So if you are doing the GAPS diet, this is going to be not, for me, this is going to be something I'm going to be flexible about with my children because this is hard and food is emotional. And I don't want to give in to them as in let them have everything they want because things are hard. But if they are craving a full GAPS food, I think I'm going to allow it and just watch for signs of bloating or gastrointestinal distress or things like that. 